Hi, and welcome to Attack Forge. My name's Phil, and I'll be your tour guide for today's introduction to the Attack Forge platform. Let's start by deploying a trial. Head over to our website, attackforge.com, and click the button Start Free Trial. Enter in your email address, and then click on Next. Now click the verification link in your email. Enter in your name or click skip. Create a password and then click next. Scan the QR code to set up your MFA. When you're ready, enter the code from your Authenticator app. Your trial environment is now getting built. Hang on tight, it should only take a minute. This environment will be dedicated to you for the duration of your trial. You can even invite your team members so you can all test it together. Your environment will be preloaded with industry methodologies from OWASP, MITRE and others. You will also get some sample projects and reporting templates to help you make the most of your trial. Now that your environment is ready, let's take a look. The first place you will see is your global dashboard. Here you can view essential information about your current vulnerabilities and projects. Click on any of the cards to drill down for more details. Now let's take a look at the Projects module. Projects are where all of your security testing activities take place. A project in AttackForge can be any type of security testing assessment. For example, a penetration test, a red team assessment, configuration audit, source code review, and others. You can request a project and create your own custom scoping forms. You can also see a list of all the currently pending project requests. Click on a request to review the information submitted and then take an action. You can also create a new project. However, let's take a look at an existing project. From the project dashboard, we can see essential information relating to this pen test, including vulnerabilities, testing progress, retesting, as well as the project team. If you click on tracking, you can see a day by day breakdown of how testing is progressing. We can also check the scope on the project and make any changes as needed. The project workspace contains all of the information that we're going to need in order to perform this penetration test. For example, test credentials. It also makes retesting a breeze. Now, if we need to capture notes at a project level, we can do that. These notes can be included in reports. When testing starts each day, we can notify the team that we're kicking off with a single click and when we're ready to stop testing, we can give the team an update on how testing went. We can also send custom emails if we need them too. When we're ready to start testing, we can click on test cases. Here we can see exactly what needs to be tested on the project. Each test case will demonstrate whether it's been tested, not tested, testing's currently in progress, or it's not applicable. Each test case will also show an outcome. If it's failed, that means there's still open vulnerabilities. If it's remediated, that means all vulnerabilities have been closed. Let's take a look at a test case. Every test case will show you important information to help provide a better understanding for what was tested and how it was tested. Test cases can have execution flows and can be assigned to individual testers 
or assets on the project scope. You can also create customer facing or report facing notes. And every test case has its own internal workspace that only the security testing team can see. If we click on vulnerabilities, we can see all of the linked vulnerabilities and start adding more. We can also add vulnerabilities at any time. When we create a vulnerability, we can take advantage of write-ups to make reporting easy. Let's search for a vulnerability. Now we can go ahead and select this one to save time. You can create custom write-ups libraries to suit your needs. You can also create custom vulnerability forms for different types of assessments. For example, if this was a red team assessment, we could go ahead and select red team. And now when we go to create a vulnerability, we'll have a section for red team. You can also import vulnerabilities from common tools. For example, if we were importing a scan from Nessus, we can go ahead and select the scan file. And then ATTACKFORGE will automatically pass that and do some smart grouping. This makes it easy to see what are the unique vulnerabilities that were discovered as part of this scan. You can also do custom passing as well. Now let's take a look at a vulnerability. Here we can see key information such as when this vulnerability is planned to be fixed, when it must be fixed, and all of its affected assets. All of the information you would expect to see in a pen test report is already available in the portal. You can also review the re remediation history for every vulnerability. We can request a round of retesting and also track all other retests which have been performed. We can also view the attack chains discovered on this pen test. This is a great way to visually explain the narrative for your assessment. If you prefer a written narrative, you can always create an exec summary for your report. Reports can be generated on demand whenever you or your customers need them. You can pick a report type which has been made available to you. When you're ready, click download and you'll get the report in seconds without the need for the security team to manually have to create this for you. Now let's take a look at analytics. Each user can generate analytics to gather insights on their vulnerabilities, compliance, assets, and even their failed test cases. We can perform comparisons to monitor trends and changes over time. For program level tracking and reporting, we can view portfolios. Portfolios can be created to view a segment of your testing program. You can create portfolios for different customers, products, time periods, different teams, compliance, or other types of groupings that's relevant to your business. Every portfolio provides a detailed breakdown of all of the vulnerabilities discovered, projects performed, and all of the assets which were tested. To help you with tracking all of your testing, the schedule provides a breakdown of all of the different projects. They're color coded by status to make it easy. You can also view schedules for other users. If you click on a project, you can get more information. You can also manage your groups and see key information for each of those groups. You can also manage your assets, filter and assign them to different libraries and view detailed information about those assets, including their vulnerabilities. You can also manage your knowledge bases including your write-ups and all of the different libraries for your write-ups. 
You can also make changes to any of your testing methodologies within the test suites module. Report templates is where you can manage all your different types of reporting templates. You can create new templates or download tools to help you build your own templates. Attackforge has extensive and robust RESTful and event-driven APIs. You can do a lot of powerful automations and set up flexible integrations. Attackforge is also very configurable. The administration module allows you to configure your Attackforge just the way you need to align it with your own processes and workflows. You can set up custom fields, adjust all your reporting, configure your email templates, and even set up your own white labeling. So that concludes today's tour of Attackforge. Make sure to give it a try. You only need an email address and it takes less than two minutes to get started. Also make sure to check out the tutorials on our YouTube channel for more insights on how penetration testing can be done easier with Attackforge. Again, I'm Phil and thanks for watching.